Hi everybody, I'm James. I'm Paul. And this is Chompers. Of course, our trusted travel <laughs> companion. We are coming... A little <laughs> squirrely this morning. <laughs> we are coming to you from the California coast. Here, we are at Magoo State Park, and more specifically Thornhill Broom Campground. It's just north of Malibu and right on the ocean, which you see behind us. Thornhill Broom Campground is basically boondocking. It's a stretch of road between uh, two points in the ocean here. It's kind of a little cove. And you're boondocking literally right on the sand, which is really nice. You walk out of your RV, you walk onto the sand. Every campsite has a fire pit, a picnic table, and basically a, a wonderful, as you can see behind us, ocean view of the California ocean. The campsite offers fresh water, no dumping, uh, but you can buy firewood, uh, there are porta potties, a couple of amenities like that. Otherwise, you are boondocking. Yeah, it's true, bo true boondocking. And why do you come here? Well, first of all, the views are amazing. Camping right on the ocean is really cool. There are, on the other side of Pacific Coast Highway, hiking trails into the Santa Monica Mountains, which is really cool. Lots of nice views there. We brought our bikes, but we're a little disappointed because we're in this cove, there's really not a lot of places to bike. And the only way to kind of get out of this cove is to bike along Pacific Coast Highway, which we thought was just a little, a little, a little too, too dangerous A little too for dangerous us. and yeah. racy traffic. Uh, so what we did do was we actually met some friends camping. So this yeah. was a great time to just sit and enjoy our friends and have campfires at night and happy hours and watch the sunset. The waves are either crashing, which means it's windy. When we arrived, it was rainy and windy, or they're just lapping gently. Yeah. One, I think, negative that we all agree on at this campground. We are literally right along Pacific Coast Highway. So it's pretty much continual traffic, especially in the morning rush hour and the afternoon rush hour. It's people going between Oxnard and Malibu. So it seems like about six in the morning, you get a lot of traffic. And then in the evening, you get a lot of traffic. Uh, at night, it was quiet. And as yeah. you hear now, it's quiet, but there is kind of that rush hour. So if you are camping here during the week, uh, expect to have morning and evening traffic noise. And by like the third night, we kind of, we were waking up at six o'clock to the traffic noise. Yeah. Which it's, unfortunately it's, drowns out the, the noise of the waves. <laughs> well, somehow. at some point you're not sure if that white noise is the ocean or yeah. some traffic zooming by. It depends how uh, reckless the drivers are. Yeah. But now, walks up and down the shore and the beach were wonderful. Um, now we're here in winter time, so there's hardly anyone here. Yeah. It's, it's pretty amazing that we can camp right on the ocean here in California and really this campground is fairly empty. I could imagine that in summertime, this place gets pretty crowded. I, I think it's 45 sites that are accessible now. Yeah. Um, the other half of the campground looks like it washed away a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, so I think yeah. there's 45 sites and we're probably about a third full right now. This is December, so it's cool and off season. As far as accessibility, it is it is pretty easy to get to from the Southern California area. Uh, we took a drive through the Santa Monica Mountains, which had some beautiful views to get here, but you could also just come up Pacific Coast Highway from Malibu or down Pacific Coast Highway from the Santa Barbara Mount, uh, Santa Barbara and Oxnard area. So easy to get to, but like I said, it's in a little cove, so you still feel a little isolated. Great little getaway, something that we would definitely return to. Yeah, right? three or four days uh, getaway, it's perfect. Had some time to read, catch up with friends. That's kind of lifestyle kind of trip here. And we're headed back home today. Yeah, so if you're thinking you want to camp along the California coast, and you look at like Santa Barbara or you look at the LA, San Diego area and it's just packed. This is a great alternative. It's close enough, but feels so far away and appears in wintertime to be pretty accessible as far as availability. So definitely we would return, wouldn't yeah. It's very cool being right on the beach. So absolutely. absolutely. Put it on your list of California beach campgrounds. In the meantime, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, yeah. like if you like the video, please. hit that little heart, like the video. That helps us in the algorithm with YouTube so that we can uh, get viewers to look and be interested in some of the videos that we're putting together. So until then, thank you very much. Travel safe. Enjoy. I'll uh -huh. see you out on the road. Thanks for watching. Bye.